What is up guys? Thank you for joining me today here at the Raw Factory. I'm Jacob. Nice to see all of your lovely smiling faces. Now, today's tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how to use your speed light with camera basics that I did in the other video. So if you haven't seen that one, please go ahead and watch that video and then come back to this video. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the Yongnuo 560 4. This retails for $100 or less. And the transmitter to fire the flash is Yong Nuo 560 TX2. So let's talk power. The smaller the number, the stronger the light. The bigger the number, the lower the light. So for example, one over one is gonna be the strongest output that the flash can fire. Whereas something such as one over 128 will be the least power that the flash can fire. So you're wondering what the heck is flash zoom? The zoom setting on your speed light actually determines the spread of the light. At 24, the light's probably sitting around here. And as you increase it, it moves closer to the front of the speed light. I personally like to trial different zoom settings to see how it affects my images. And I recommend you do the same. However, guys, if you feel a bit overwhelmed and there's just too much data being put through to your head right now, just stick to the basics. This simple rule will help you move past zoom. The lens that you're using, if it's a 50 mil, set the zoom settings to 50. You're using a 70 mil, set your zoom to 70 mil. Okay, so how high or how low do you position the light? How close, how far? So to help you understand how I make my decisions on light placement, I'm gonna show you a quick little activity that you can do at home today to help you understand how I go about it. Here I have a simple stack of cookies and my iPhone torch. Now shine the torch from left to right. Notice the angle of the shadow moves with the position of the light. How about if I bring the light closer or further away? This controls the length of the shadow. Now just a quick side note, notice how the shadows are very hard. That is because the light source is small. If I were to put this light into a large softbox, this would create a softer light. Let me show you how the shadow softens when it hits the diffusion panel. Notice the size of the panel when the light from the iPhone hits the material. That panel is the new light source. And as you can see, it is creating a softer shadow. So what is the correct height? How do we know where to position the light? Higher or lower? So to help you understand this, I'm bringing out the big guns. I'm bringing out my modeling lamp, which is the 8600 Pro. It's a strobe, but I'm using the modeling lamp just to help shine a bigger light onto the diffuser to help you understand. Picture the brighter circle being the sun. Would the sun ever be positioned at your subject from a low angle? No. So if I move the light higher up, we then get the light spilling onto our subject, which creates a much more natural looking image. Now that's my personal preference. I like light spill rather than inline direct light. Let's trial my theory. So out comes my torch, and I want to place the light high up so the light spills onto my cookies. I have my speed light power at 1 over 8. I'm using a 100mm macro lens. Camera settings are ISO 100, shutter speed at 200, and aperture at 4.5. Now let's take a shot. That's looking nice. However, I think this image may look better with a bounce card sitting on the opposite side of the light. This is to bounce light back into the image, which brightens up the shadows. Now a bounce card is essentially just a white piece of foam board. So you don't have to use a foam board, you can use white paper, um, anything white, even a white wall, that's totally fine. So now that the bounce card is in, let's take another test shot. Yes, I'm loving that. Look at how airy the image looks. Well, that is all from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. You got something out of it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Catch ya. Bye. Hashtag the Raw Factory. That'd be cool.